Hi guys, got a request from Riley Elwood to make a rubber band powered car using a toilet paper roll and wheels made from CDs. Um, I've done quite a few cardboard tubes for rubber band powered cars but I'll do this one because he's asked. The toilet paper roll is quite a short roll so we're not going to get very many rubber bands in there to drive the car forwards so I'll have to be very careful how I wind it up. The other thing is it's not particularly strong but we'll use it. I'll use these CDs that I've already put the milk bottle tops on so if you don't know how to put the milk bottle tops on them to make the hubs You'll have to look at my help file, so I'll put a link in the description. So that'll be four CDs, eight milk bottle tops for the hubs, and two barbecue skewers for the axles. And then for the front axle tube, I'm going to use this ball pen tube, because it's a nice stiff bit of plastic and I'm going to wrap the rubber band around it to hold it in place at the front of the car. So I'll just hot glue it on the front. And then for the back axle tube I'll use this drinking straw. And to give it a bit more strength I've got some cardboard from a cardboard box here that I shall cut up and put up the sides to give it a bit more strength and hold the tubes in place. Right, I need my cutting board so I don't damage my desk. Steel ruler. Pencil. Right, so those are just extra bits of cardboard to strengthen the tube and also to strengthen the position where we hot glue the axle tubes in place. I'll shorten this tube, ball pen tube a bit. Need it to be just a little bit longer than the actual cardboard. Right, need to hot glue that across there. So that's to hold the front axle and also to wrap the rubber band round to hold it at the front. Now we need to put this drinking straw on the back. I'll just wait till this cools down a bit more. Because the CDs are quite large they're actually going to have to overlap. So I'm going to make the back wheels wider than the front wheels. Again, I'll just let this hot glue cool down a bit. I find it helps if you put a little ring of hot glue all the way around. Right, we'll let that cool down. Okay, pair of scissors. I'm going to cut that one so it's about the same length as the other side. And we want to cut the middle out. So that we can wrap the rubber band around the axle. So that's where we get to the axle. See, because I've got the back wheels wider than the front wheels, they can overlap without touching each other. I 
I'll just hot glue a tiny little bit of barbecue skewer on here to give us a peg to hook the rubber band onto. If I can find a piece of barbecue skewer. across the table I can't see where it went. I'll do that again. Right, just hot glue that on there. I'll give it a little bit more because that's not very much hot glue there. That's just to help get the rubber band on there. Right, I'll check out what rubber bands I've got now. Just tidy up a bit. Okay, we'll use some blue rubber bands to match the blue tube and the blue bottle tops. So, that actually looks long enough. But we might have trouble getting hold of it through there. Well, we'll give it a try. Just loop it round the ball pen tube to hold it in place. might have trouble reaching that. I'm going to get a paper clip and bend it so I can reach inside to hook it. Over the hook, wind it up. We better go and test run it. Test run time then. Got a bit of wire to hook the rubber band through. Over the back axle, wind it up, see if we can manage the length of the kitchen. And out in the conservatory as well. So that looks like a success. Summary time. What have we got? Toilet paper roll. Reinforced with a couple of bits of cardboard either side. Drinking straw at the back for the axle to go through. A ball pen tube or stick pen tube for the front axle to go through and also to take the rubber band which we've tied around the front. The axles are barbecue skewers front and back. On the back one I've actually put an extra tiny bit of barbecue skewer hot glued on there to give us something to hook the rubber band onto. Uh, did I already say the back tube is a drinking straw? Four CDs for the wheels and eight milk bottle tops for the hubs in the middle. And if you don't know how to stick the hubs on the wheels, have a look in the video description because there'll be a link to the help file where I show you how to do it. And that's it. Nice, simple, small, lightweight, rubber band powered car. And it just went the length of my kitchen, which is five metres very easily and carried on into my conservatory.